this is most interesting. The uh, spider crab of yesterday, and uh, by the way, it's now Wednesday, the 19th of October, 2011, and the spider crab of yesterday molted last night. And what is so interesting about this is it has been removing red beard sponge and other organisms that had decorated its old exoskeleton and has been attaching them to its new exoskeleton. Quite interesting. What is also interesting is that you will recall that this animal came from a line hanging over the side of the dock at the 11th Street docks and within a day it has molted. Now you will recall that the small spider crab, the last one we got in an earlier video taken from the same location, also molted overnight after it had been um, collected. What has me wondering is, is it possible that spider crabs seek some place above the bottom, some place where they can haul out where they might be less available to predators after them in their softened state. What I'm going to do, now this, neither of those two was the first spider crab I had ever observed at, uh, <clears throat> on that line hanging over that dock, but it was the first one I had collected um, uh, for display at the estuarium. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check that line regularly, collect any spider crabs that I find, and bring them in and see if they molt in a short period of time. I'm going to do some more video of this animal uh, in a few hours and we'll see if it has collected any more of the fouling organisms or the organisms, its decorator organisms, uh, for its new exoskeleton. It's now Wednesday evening and I'm going to remove the old exoskeleton for drying and display. Um, what this does is it gives you a really good idea on how much this animal, was, animal has grown on a single molt. You will observe the branching bryozoan that is attached near the rostrum. That's the very front of the carapace or just above the animal's face and I see some branching bryozoan on the legs there. I've decided I'll be able to keep this animal. It will be moving into the tank with the knobbed whelk and the uh, toadfish. Neither of them uh, should infringe upon the other. Uh, they, should, they should live quite well together. So the next time you see this animal he will be occupying a tank in the display room and you will be able to see it when you come and visit the estuarium.